Sir Papi, I am your father. <laughs> Absolutely love it. More coming to you on the tech front as well this morning. Now, I wasn't really joking this morning when I said most of our learners are out there now counting the days, minutes, seconds until their year-end holiday. You guys have had a tough year, challenging one, and I'm sure you want to bid your schools, your books, and all due respect to your teachers a fond farewell for the summer holidays. But I have a feeling there is one class out there who are going to miss this particular teacher quite a lot. Let's let him break it down for you. Five, six, seven, eight. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Who am I? I am great. I will achieve greatness. I will never give up. I will never quit. I am great. Kurt Mino doesn't look like a conventional math teacher and he's proud to teach in an unconventional way, using hip-hop beats and dance moves to help learners enjoy math. What we're doing in South Africa with regards to schooling and education, especially the traditional schooling, is that it doesn't work. You know, scores and averages across the board, across all subjects, are decreasing and it's getting worse and worse. As a creative, I just sat and went, what can I do to help alleviate the problem or help fix things and um, I put these two together. I actually tested this, I would say three or four years ago. I tested it in the class of the multiple of three or something, I can't remember so clearly, and immediately the kids picked it up. Kurt's musical maths is helping learners with attention difficulties, dyslexia, and improving math performance across his grade eight classes. Mr. Mariah's teaching helps us so much because he, he teaches us in a way where we can understand things and remember everything. My favorite thing about Mr. Minar is that he makes you to become who you want to become and he inspires you in the way of saying never give up on what you're willing to do. Music has rhythms and bars and, and beats and it's catchy. And there's certain content or content that the kids must know off by heart and they must be able to grasp it. So all we done was we took the topic, had the beat made, I went into studio, recorded it, we shot the music video, and that two came together beautifully because for, for this specific topic, which was the multiples, which is an important foundation or basic that the kids must know. And the two of them work beautifully together. The benefit is that class disruptions have decreased and learners attend their other lessons with a positive energy after a musical math class. Music in itself is built on mathematical laws or they are part of, of it. So here at our Waldorf School, in all Waldorf schools, children learn from the first time they go through primary maths. They do it all with movement. Through the movement, it actually fixes itself more in their memory. I definitely think that there is room to use that method in mainstream schools. I personally have some colleagues who have taken this to mainstream schools and have been very successful. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 84, 91, 91, 91, multiples of 7. I know the ultimate vision for what I'm doing is for us as a country, for us as South Africa, to create an alternative way of doing teaching and learning and not to enforce one way upon the kids, you know, one way of teaching and learning which is chalk and talk because we've got a variety of different types of learners and we need to cater to them all and slightly customize it and we can do it and we need to find something that works for us. This is one teacher learners won't forget and it seems math may be a new favorite subject when it gets a little swag from Kurt Minar. Oh, yeah.